Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. Today, I am going to discuss this topic, Estimate the Products of Decimal Numbers with Reasonable Results. Example, 3 and 45 hundreds times 2 and 68 hundreds. Since that our topic is all about estimating, so that means before we multiply the given, we have to round this number into nearest highest possible to its value. So, so, itong digit na to, ito yung may highest place value. So, dito naman sa multiplier ay ito naman. So, round off muna natin itong multiplicand. So, when we round off uh, 3, the result is 3. Why? Kasi yung digit sa kanan ay 4. So, ang rule kapag 4, we round down. Diba? 4, 3, 2, 1, round down. So, itong multiplicand naman, the digit to the right of 2 is 6. So, that means kung 6, we round up. So, yung 2 magiging 3. Diba yung sa rule, kapag 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yung katabi ng digit na i-round off, mag-add tayo ng 1 sa digit to be rounded. Then, afterwards, pwede ka na mag-multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. So, that means kapag estimating ang topic, mas madali lang siyang sagutin o kaya ay mas madali siyang i-oran. Okay, next. 24 and 36 hundreds times 16 and 21 hundreds. So, same procedure. I-round up natin siya into nearest highest possible place value. So, etong digit na to, ito yung merong highest place value dito sa multiplicand natin. Ito naman yung sa multiplier. So, that means nearest, nearest tens ito, no? We're going to round off the given into nearest tens. So, the answer here when we round this into nearest tens is 20 times. Ito naman ay, so, since na yung digit, sa kanan ni 1 ay 6. So, that means uh, we're going to add 1 to 1. Kasi ang rule, pag 5 to 9 ay round up. Pag 5 to 9 yung nasa kanan, ang digit na i-round off. So, 20. Then, afterwards, pwede na mag-multiply. 20 times 20. Or, para mas madali, eto munang non-zero digit, ano? 2 times 2 is 4. And then, yung dalawang 0, i-bring down mo na lang. Then, the answer is 400. Alright, another. 286 thousands times 154 thousands. So, same, same procedure. So, we're going to round this number in the nearest highest possible place value. So, yung highest possible place value niya ay tenths. No? So, that means when we, when we round off this, the result is 3 tenths. Bakit? The digit to the right of 2 is 8. That's why we round up. And then, ito naman ay magiging 2 tenths. Bakit 2 tenths? Kasi the digit to the right of 1 is 5. So, ang rule kapag 5 pataas, round up tayo. And then afterwards, pwede ka na magmultiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, hindi pa dyan nag stop yan. Bibilangin natin yung digit sa kanan ng decimal point. 1, 2. 1, 2. And then the answer is 600. Kahit i-scratch mo siya, yan din ang lilitaw na result yan. Or i-solve mo siya in column form. Ayan na. 3 tenths times 2 tenths. So, 3 times 2 is 6. Then you're going to count the number of digits to the right of decimal point. 1, 2, 1, 2. Ayan. The same lang din yung sagot. Okay, another given. 32 hundreds times 25 hundreds. Okay, so saan natin i-round up? Sa nearest tenths pa rin. Yung multiplicand, yung multiplier, ganun din. So, since na yung digit sa kanin ni 3 ay 2, round down tayo. Then, 3 tenths ang sagot dyan. Times, eto naman ay 
since na yung digit sa kanan nito ay 5, kaya tayo ay mag round up. So, si 2500, kapag ni-round up siya, ay magiging 3 pence. Okay, now, afterwards, multiply mo na siya 3 times 3, 9. Then, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, we're going to count the number of digit to the right of the decimal point. 1, 2, 1, 2. Then, the answer is 9 hundreds. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.